To help us demonstrate how testing works, I've gone ahead and created this main class with one method add. That one method just takes two numbers and adds them together, returning the result. When it comes to testing, all we need to do is right click on our project and create a new JUnit test case. This will create a new file for us. The convention is to start the name of this new class with the word test, followed by the class that we're going to use it to test. If you have many classes that you're going to actually test, it, you should create many different versions of this test case file. It will ask if we want to add JUnit4 to the build path if you haven't already set it up which it won't be by default and so you can just click OK and this will this is what the test case looks like so what we're going to do is to just first off delete this we're going to create a new instance of our main class And then we're going to add a new line to this test called assert equals. Now the parameters that this function is going to take are the description of this test. So we're going to say 1 plus 1 equals 2. It then takes the result that we're going to expect from this test, which will be 2. And then we're going to actually call the main function. And in this case I need it to remove the public from there so that we can access it properly. So I'll save both of these now. And if we run this test case, it's going to actually show us the results of the test on our left. So in this case, the test ran in 0 0.001 seconds and it's green. There was no errors and there were no failures. If we expected this result to be 3, for example, if we thought 1 plus 1 is going to add up to 3, we will change this result here and run the test again but this time we're going to get an error because 1 plus 1 doesn't equal 3 and so in this case we would then look at what went wrong and then we would go and try and fix the method now you can actually see down here as well that it gives us this description that we typed here and this can basically help you very quickly identify what's gone wrong and why. So the failure trace can be very useful when you're doing your own testing. As we mentioned in the lecture, there are many other things other than assert equals. Just by auto-completing, you can see the things like assert array equals, assert equals, assert not equals, assert null. There are many different options that you can choose and finding the right assertion that you're looking for will be one of the biggest things that you need to focus on getting right. As long as you are able to identify what's going on, it doesn't matter too much whether you're using assert equals or something similar. As long as you can find something which is reliably going to be able to test your code.